that's right, the scent bird video. I don't know, I just don't like how it's turning out. I don't know, I just, I, Cooper, come here. Cooper is Haley, my roommate's dog, and he gets very anxious when Haley leaves. It's, hi, I'm here. He's like the sweetest little dog, but he really just has quite a bit of anxiety, really. Oh, do you hear that? He's so distraught. He looks like an Australian wild dingo. Oh. Yeah, now you're chilling. I spent so much time editing it and I just am like, am I ever gonna like how it turns out? I don't know. I guess it's also kind of tricky because I have so much footage that I think is interesting, but I have to cut out a lot. Like I have hours of footage and I'm cutting it into like a 10 minute video. It starts straight into the working area. Can you tell we're a fragrance company? <laughs> There's a bunch of fragrances. And if you follow me, I'll show you the boardroom. I got bitten by the entrepreneurial bug pretty early in the game. I think I might have been about 10 years old and my girlfriend and I decided that we would make little toys and we would make them with beads, just like different color beads and we could make like little crocodiles. This and is like my lizards. first vlog as a 24 year old. I'm 24. I don't feel 24. It was a fun birthday. I totally forgot to vlog. I basically just had brunch with a bunch of friends and- Okay, <laughs> I forgot to bring my vlog camera, but other people vlogged, so go check out like Tara's vlog if you wanna see it. <laughs> now I am going to get my nails done because they're really, really gross. Because tomorrow's a fun little surprise and I actually have to prepare for it and get some stuff for it. Nails are done. I kicked the TV and I left my house on the lock. I went out on the street. Bought everything, got the little sign printed. Got enough flowers. Well, no one in this neighborhood is actually celebrating Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, I know you guys are probably like, what's with the flowers? Like, you got a Valentine or something? Nope. No one, literally none of my neighbors, none of my roommates, none of us do. But, well, we kind of do. We have a fake Valentine. So basically, I got this brand deal where Chris Harrison came to my house and the idea was that he like shows up to our like Galentine's Day thing, which was so funny. Tomorrow. So we're having our own little uh, bachelor brunch featuring a special guest today. Got super extra. <laughs> I really, really wanted to surprise one person and not tell them, but it's very hard to convince people to come over on 10 a.m. on a Tuesday to watch The Bachelor. We got The Bachelor on, people crying. Look at all these truffles. Chris is almost here. Oh, Love the show. Yeah. I just crashed the party. Oh my God. Are you know, you're always like, what are celebrities like in person? Like, who knows? I've definitely been around some celebrities that like in person aren't like, like the nicest. And so I was like, what is, what's he gonna be like? Is he gonna be like one of those? Or no, he's actually like, Genuinely so nice. This is cool. He knows I work at camera. Oh, wait, on that one. Okay, so we're taking it in the front. That one's a little better. This is the thumbnail. Okay. It's funny because I've been to, I feel like, a lot of events in LA where, like, they'll have some celebrity there, but never anything where they come to your house. Like that is just so funny because you're like, this is my house, like you're in my house. Hold up your lens, you gotta hold up. Oh, wow. This was actually Adrian's audition for the bachelor. It literally was Like, would you go? Christina Schaefer likes I can't believe that happened. Chris Harrison came to my house, basically. My neighbor's house, but basically my house. Then we all had to like get back to working on stuff and 
go about our day as usual, but it was just quite an eventful morning. I am now checking in with Nicole. If you guys saw my vlog before, um, I've been working on helping produce her channel. You know, LA traffic is bad, so it's not like, sometimes it's easier to just FaceTime. We're kind of going over like, the direction to take her channel in and how it's like frustrating for anyone that does YouTube, I think. You can add to this too, to like figure out sometimes the direction of your channel because you want to do so many different things. For a long time, I've been trying to think of how to tie it all together and make it all the same thing, but now I'm realizing that maybe I shouldn't do that. And I feel like, again, there's so much. Working with Nicole and her channel reminds me of how hard it is to start a YouTube channel these days. It's been two months of putting up weekly videos that are really high quality, very searchable, I would think would be getting some views, but a lot of them haven't even gotten a thousand views. Like some of them have 200 views. To me that's insane because they're very searchable videos and they're good quality, like me and Monica helped shoot them, they're really good. I just really am surprised that not one of these videos has like hit the YouTube algorithm and gotten like 10,000 views. You just have to stand out on YouTube now, like you really have to. You have to be really personal, I think, or you have to be, I want you guys to check it out and let me know what you think. Like, is it a channel that you'd watch or if not, why? Because I think they're good quality videos, but maybe they're just too common. Like we kind of have seen these videos before. They're not interesting enough. Now starting a YouTube channel, it doesn't help to just copy other people and do like similar things that you think are gonna get views. Like you have to just do what people haven't done before. So I think that's where we need to switch her channel. I'm at the old neighbor's new place. Whoa, hi, hi Janine. We miss you in the hood. I know, me too. Um, I, I was just walking like next door and be like, yo, what up? I know, but it's not that bad. You don't live that far, yeah, so it's chill. Just, I'm so happy I said it's yeah. really close. I know, when I put in the address, I was like, oh, so close to Sweet Green. We're having an editing night. Mm -hmm. um, I'm never as productive when I'm like, let's have an editing party. Yeah, I know, I was like, just drinking wine and talking. <laughs> I know. But whatever, I get a little bit done, I guess, so yeah. Okay. I'm going to get sushi. Woo! You can only see a you can only of see our you. head. Yay. It's like a little Wait. creepy. Um, it's like too dark in here to vlog, but like, hi. Hi! Shout out to Lauren and Janine and Mallory for taking me and buying me birthday sushi. You guys are the best. I like didn't vlog any of my birthday, but at least I got a late birthday celebration vlogged. Um, yeah. Anyway, I told you guys to ask questions in my last vlog, so I'll answer some now. Someone said, if you aren't in a big city, can you still join Shutter? Yeah, you definitely can still join Shutter. It's just like, if you don't actually do photography, don't set your price to $100 an hour. You know, someone said, would you ever be willing to do photography lessons or go on shoots with subscribers? I actually would be. I think that'd be fun. Like, maybe that could be a thing you could book on Shutter to do, like a photography lesson for an hour or two or something. Someone said, wait, did you fix your hair color? It looks different. It does look kind of different. I just got Olaplex. A bunch of you guys commented that on my platinum hair video and it actually did save my hair. Like it made it so much more, I don't know if healthy, but like repaired, like it really like bonded the hair back together. So update on that. I don't really regret the hair anymore. I feel like it's better. I feel like so many people compliment it, even though I didn't like it at first. It seems like very well received, I don't know. I feel like it kind of makes me stand out, like it just is really bright, yeah. Someone said, can you do a Shutter event in Chicago? I think that'd be really cool to do eventually, probably Dallas first, but like eventually we would love to do them like all over the place. I've never been to Chicago, but that would be a good excuse to visit, I guess. Uh, have you ever found one of the retainers you've lost? Yes, I found the retainer that I lost, you guys. Ooh, so I called the place and I didn't have to pay for a new one. Yay. A lot of people asked what happened to Anne Marie. Um, basically, I'm actually gonna wait to answer this one until my next vlog, so sorry if you really wanna know, but you're gonna have to wait until my next vlog. In the meantime, leave more comments down below. Maybe I'll see if Anne-Marie wants to be in it and answer some of it too, so. And in the meantime, you can leave more comments for me to answer in, or questions for me to answer in the next one. Bye.